Hello, welcome to another program of SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. I'm so excited. Just got back from the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, um, giving a speech, ladies and gentlemen. Place packed, packed. Uh, Representative Tyrone Brooks was there, introduced me, but I was invited by Reverend Hattie Lawson, who's the president of the Athens Area Human Relations Council, Incorporated, right there at the University of Georgia. Man, did we have a good time. And thank you, Reverend Lawson, for all you do and for that great program, recognizing for the 44th year of Dr. King's birthday. I really appreciate being the keynote speaker. And my good friend, none other than Representative Tyrone Brooks. Man, can he bring it on. Appreciate you, my brother. He introduced me for the evening. They're doing such great works there in Athens, and I just want to commend them. Ladies and gentlemen, you know uh, the civil rights movement is much more than a day or a weekend or a week or a month. I was just thinking about people fighting for their rights all over the world, women rights, men rights, all rights, all people rights, human rights in terms of what's going on in Iran. You know, I, I've been paying close attention to that fight, fighting for their rights to, to, to be just respected. That's a globalized concern that I'm so entrenched in, in terms of the rights globally, in a global village, that we all must understand. Dr. King said, and we're celebrating his birthday, not only this month, this week, uh, not only on his birthday, not on the federal, not only on the federal uh, designated day, the third Monday of of each January of each new year, we're celebrating the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But he also said, "Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere." Dr. Martin Luther King Jr was the most hated man in America. And uh, Representative Tyrone Brooks brought that out uh, in, in the meeting last night there at the University of Georgia in that great facility with a house pack audience. He was the most hated. Many people who celebrating him now, even though elderly of age, even uh, from generation past on, had a negative impression and verbally told him that we don't want you in our community. You stir up trouble. You're a troublemaker. So, rabbit rouser, Dr. King was not loved <clears throat> like many of us assume today young folks who wasn't even born and those who of age to any degree during his working relationship in civil rights. Need to understand that Dr. King was not loved by the majority of the people while he was doing his work. But now it's so conveniently said and lived that this was a great man. But where was the support? Where was the support that he had back then? It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and it's not easy today. I don't have to personalize it. I'm just talking about Dr. King. But I'm blessed and fortunate to have the calling to be in the seat and been here for a number of years. And we're still here. And we're not going anywhere. But everything glitter in terms of the movement, in terms of life, everything that's glitter, everything with the imagery of glittering, it's not gold. It's not good. Just because you see people on TV, you see people leading marches, you see people giving speeches, it's not easy if they stand for justice and equality. I just told you what Dr. King said. Injustice anywhere, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Throughout the world, ladies and gentlemen, 
we must understand that the movement continues. And I see so many of our people. I mentioned last night, uh, last year, $81 trillion was invested. Was invested into small businesses. Less than 1% was invested into black businesses. We're dealing with Sherman Williams. <clears throat> We're dealing with Sherman Williams, a company that's 155, 156 years old. Sherman Williams refused to sit at the table and have a black person as a prime in partnership. We talking about talk, folks. We talking about no subcontract. We talking about the real contract. You know what the real contract is? Involuntary reparation. That's what it is, and that's what we ask it for. Ladies and gentlemen, not going to give you the buffet. Just going to give you a plate and a salsa. We'll deal with the buffet next week. Godspeed. We love you because love is what love does. Keep the faith and stay prayed up. Godspeed.